Right, in my last video I showed this MatchyFit 250-111 uh, tool post which I fitted to my tool post fixture and replaced the compound slide on my um, MyFit ML7. It's a really rigid setup and I'm really pleased with that and I've also made a block like this for the Chinese mini lathe and replaced the compound slide on that one as well. And I only put the compound slide on the lathes when I um, need to do angles or whatever. And I found this setup, because it's so solid and rigid in its design, to be the best to use when I'm actually using my tool post drill on the lathe to do index drilling or drilling through bar. The only real problem that I've had with tool post drilling on the lathe, um, on any tool post, no matter how tight I do the nut up on the centre of the um, tool post there, there's a tendency for the actual tool post to push out of square and therefore break centre drills or make the holes to go out of alignment on the index drilling. And this is a close-up of that. You can actually see those holes wandering off and obviously a scrap component. And some tool posts on some lathes have a hole down through one corner um, which a pin goes down through into the compound slide so you know when the um, actual tool post is nice and square and it also prevents that from um, pushing off of square. Today I'd just like to show you a simple upgrade that I've done for my um, actual tool post fixture here in using a couple of allen bolts and a couple of stainless steel spacers that I've made. And like I said it's a very simple design. All as I've done on the actual tool post um, fixture block here is I've drilled and tapped two six millimeter uh, threaded holes right the way through square to the actual um, tool post and then I've made a couple of spacers up out of stainless steel exactly the same diameter and these screw down onto the actual block and the actual diameter of the spacer sits nice and tight up against the actual tool post there and keeps it nice and square. So even when that nut is loosened off there's no movement whatsoever in the actual tool post and it's dead square on my actual fixture. Plus if I do want to actually swivel the actual tool post on the block there either one way or the other I take off either um, spacer there and obviously loosen the nut off there and obviously you can spin either way. And I found that it's so solid now um, it's absolutely excellent for the um, tool post drill and I can actually drill right through stainless steel on the um, lathe without any movement at all in that tool post. So I'm really pleased with the actual design. So I've got a piece of stainless steel bar up in the chuck there and a um, five millimeter drill. And I'm gonna drill some holes in this piece of bar.
So this is the finished piece, uh, 12 equally spaced holes around the diameter of that piece of stainless steel and I didn't even use a centre drill. And I'm really pleased with this simple upgrade.